Good morning. It's another beautiful and hot day here in Florence. Um, it's like 7 a.m. and it's already in the mid 80s, so it's gonna be another scorcher. I just got done with some content creation. I've been up since like five this morning. And now I'm heading over to Gucci Garden to get a little bit of breakfast before going to check out the Statue of David. Because did you really come to Florence if you didn't see the Statue of David? Good afternoon. Uh, so I did get to go see David. He was very impressive. Uh, I will say the rest of it though, it was a lot of Jesus paintings, which is fine. Like there were some Botticelli's and some beautiful arts of work, but for someone who went to Catholic school, it was a lot of Jesus, not gonna lie. I think once you see David, you can probably be in and out in like 10 minutes. Just kind of browse everything else. Uh, it took me about an hour to get in without the like e-ticket because the e-ticket was sold out. If you go in the morning, there's a good bit of shade where the line forms, so it wasn't too bad. Um, and then after that, I was going to go to Gucci Garden, but the reviews weren't great, so I ended up at this place called Red Rooster that was amazing. Uh, a really nice yogurt bowl for breakfast, a little bit of cappuccino, a little espresso. Uh, it was good, and now I'm on my way to go find a wine window. So here we go. Okay, so the wine window was really cool. It was a little touristy, but it was super cute. If you're in Florence, I highly suggest checking it out. I'll put the address in the link below. Um, basically, you go, it's like a little to-go window. You ring the bell, order your wine, and they hand it to you. And then you just drink it on the street. It's kind of perfect. dinner. Um, I had dinner at Bebe, Bay, which is right next to, well, connected to the wine uh, window. It was amazing. Uh, summer black truffles. Highly recommend them if you're in Florence during the summer. It's delicious. Had one risotto and obviously a lot of uh, Tuscan wine. Fun in Italy, why not? Uh, so now I'm gonna go back, have an early night, and uh, be up to explore again in the morning before it gets to be 100. Here we go.